नेक्स्ट टॉपिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस बेस्ड ऑन बैंड थियोरी ऑफ सॉलिड्स दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड एज मेनी टाइम्स इन द फाइनल एग्जाम दट इज फॉर थ्री मार्क नाउ लेट मी कंसिडर एन आइटम सो दिस इज एन आइटम वी हैव इट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ अ न्यूक्लियस ह्योर and these are the electron orbits there are many orbits here we taken it as in circular fashion but we can consider that in linear fashion like this and now we will call them as energy levels these are energy levels this is first energy level second energy level third energy level like that detail of that we are studying in one of the chapter later now if single atom is there the energy levels are separate and those separate energy levels are called as discrete energy levels or discrete orbit these are discrete orbits now if you consider two atoms two atoms in close proximity then what happens you will not get the energy level like this that is discrete energy levels you will not get it then what happens these two atoms interact and they produces a bands like this this is a lower energy band and higher energy band these are called as bands energy bands we will call them as energy bands and this lower energy band is called as valence band and this upper energy band is called as conduction band and there is a gap between them and this gap is called as forbidden energy gap then what is valence band the valence band is the bands in which the valence electrons are available and that is called as valence band then what is conduction band once the electron is in this conduction band it can easily flow in a conductor they can freely move anywhere on the conductor and that is called as conduction band but electron cannot be present in such state called as forbidden gap it cannot be present here that is in forbidden energy gap now i will classify based on this bands as conductors semiconductors and insulators based on this energy bands i am going to classify the substances as insulators semiconductors and conductors okay now let me come to the first that is insulator so the lower band is always called as valence band and the upper band is always called as conduction band here many free electrons are available and the gap between them is very high it is of the order of 3 electron volt Three electron volt, and next one that is called as semiconductor. Before coming to the semiconductor, let me go to the conductor here. In conductor, you can see the valence band and conduction band overlapped. they are overlapping on each other and there is no energy gap there is no forbidden energy gap here energy gap is zero remember that part energy gap is zero here and here energy gap is very very large it is greater than 3 electron volt here energy gap is zero and let me come to one more substance that is called as semiconductor in semiconductor the energy gap between valence band and conduction band is not very large 
and it is not overlapped and the energy gap forbidden energy gap is less than 3 electron volts if they ask this question for 3 mark you have to write the diagram first and there are three points you must write the first point is that for insulator the gap between valence band and conduction band is large it is greater than 3 electron volt and the second point you have to write for semiconductor the energy gap between valence band and conduction band is neither overlap nor very large and it is less than 3 electron volt and third point for conductors in conductor the valence band and conduction band overlapped each other these are the three points you must write in case of insulators very high temperature is also not enough to push the electron from valence band to the conduction band therefore no electrons can flow in a conduction band but in case of conductor the room temperature is enough to push the electrons from valence band to the conduction band and conductivity takes place easily but in case of semiconductor the forbidden gap forbidden energy gap is neither wide nor overlap it can vary the forbidden energy gap can vary by heat light or electric field magnetic field if you just give the heat energy to it you can reduce it reduce the band as a result of that electrons in valence band jump into the conduction band and conductivity takes place conductivity takes place in a conductor in a semiconductor next how holes are generated that is positive charges are generated in a semiconductor let me consider already you saw this diagram this is a semiconductor slab made up of germanium these are germanium and germanium crystal it is it is pure semiconductor pure germanium slab i considered the pure germanium slab is called as intrinsic semiconductor pure semiconductor is called as intrinsic semiconductor so this is intrinsic semiconductor i am going to consider you already saw this diagram now this is germanium right it has four valence electrons there are four valence electrons for all the germanium there are four valence electrons here these are the electrons now if you supply the heat energy to it what happens you already studied the electrons start vibrates and bond gets break later what happens here you can see this covalent bond here it is not there so already bond is gets broken and after breaking the electron become free this electron can go here you can see and leaving behind a space here we will call this as vacancy vacancy is created when electron is going here and this vacancy is called as hole this is called as hole when the electron goes here what happens it creates a hole having positive charge positive charge is just an absent of negative charge electron is not there therefore this is hole now here also it is it has not shown here right here also what happens hole is created how the hole is created this electron was there that vibrated after receiving heat energy and just escaped from this place and created a vacancy here and this vacancy is nothing but hole whenever the electrons moves what happens 
the vacancy is created and that vacancy is nothing but the holes that is absent absence of electron here that is holes